Yo, what's up guys and girls? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to Mr. Nightmare. Six paranormal videos to keep you up at night. Back with the Mr. Nightmare kicks. I love it. Y'all love it. So uh, let's keep it going. Today it's not scary stories. Alright, it's not a scary story reaction. The true scary stories which Mr. Nightmare is used to. This is one of these odd videos he throws out every now and again just to tease you. Alright, he goes, oh, you think I'm doing a true scary story? No, here you go. Here you go. No, this is just videos I found offline. Here you go. Hold that. Scary stories next week though. But yeah. Six paranormal videos to keep you up at night. This is definitely something that Nuke's top five would definitely do, except for it's six, not five. You get what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, Nuke's top five video, that reminds me. Previous video, go peep that. It's a pretty good video, all right? But yeah, just Mr. Nightmare. Six paranormal videos to keep you up at night. Not much else to say. Besides, gaming channel, link in the description. I've just purchased Cold War. I will definitely be playing a shit ton of Cold War on the gaming channel. So go peep that, all right? But yeah, not much else to say. Besides, <laughs> follow me on Instagram at Braden Sanford and subscribe to this channel where you're at it. All right, over 95% of you are not subscribed. All right, I figured that out last time. I'm pretty sure the numbers have actually gone down a little bit to the people that aren't subscribed. So subscribe to the channel if you are watching this and the subscribe button. So subscribe, not subscribe. Subscribe to the shit. All right, but yeah, Mr. Nightmare, six point number videos to keep you up at night. Let's jump on into it. A Redditor by the name of, of Jessica Reddit, shared of footage she recorded in the Airbnb she was renting. There wasn't supposed to be anybody else in the rental, and she didn't even meet the owners as the keys were left in the mailbox. Shortly into her stay, that, she was getting ready to take a shower when she started hearing sounds from inside the walls. Hobo, she rushed hobo, to get her camera and get hobo. the sounds on video. This is what she captured. <laughs> Bruh. I wasn't expecting that. Usually with these, it's like a POV. They're holding the camera, walking around, looking for the... This, no, this bitch is up on the sink. Ear against the wall, fucking listening. She's like, you know what? Is this the right lighting? She takes... The, the bitch is her phone, just like... Um... Um... I think that'll do. Like, it doesn't got to be that serious. Just kind of, like, sit there and watch the shit. Like, record it, I guess. But, like, you don't have to fucking set yourself up and shit. What the hell? That just sounds like an edit. Glass and shit. Sounds like a, like a discotheque, bruh. Hobo in the walls. Hobo in the walls. Let's go. Alright, this is way too many angles to be to be real. Alright. That just sounds like a scary ass TV show. As you can see, after finding a sealed ventilation duct and pulling the seal off of it, the terrifying voices of people speaking Latin became much clearer and sound as though they were speaking the Trinitarian formula and other religious phrases. Strangely, the voices apparently fell silent abruptly. They didn't fall that wasn't where the nightmarish experience ended for Jessica. That night, with the bathroom door open and the bathroom light on, a picture was taken of her as she was sleeping, and the person who took the picture was holding a note in front of the camera that said it's rude to eavesdrop. You fucking stayed! These people, dude! I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I don't believe that one fucking bit. First off, there's way too many camera angles for that to to not be real. To to be real, I don't know how to phrase it. But as soon as she pulled that shit back, they would have heard that. What they would have stopped immediately if they really cared. N bullshit. And, and a real human being with real fears that would legitimately be scared of that would not stay there. They would fucking leave and go somewhere else because their life is more important than a hundred bucks a fucking night. What the hell is that? I don't believe that one, to be honest with you. This was the security footage recorded one rainy night in Huacho, Brazil. Definitely don't in the recording, it. a confused looking woman is seen walking through the street in the rain. And at first this seems relatively normal, nothing too unusual. Until the woman seems to slowly disappear as she gets closer to the bottom of the screen. Until she vanishes altogether. Oh, there she is. What? Truck, truck, truck's like, what the fuck was that backing up like? The hell? What was that? When zoomed in, you can also see the woman seems scantily dressed for the weather conditions seen in the video. 
Sure, someone can say it's just a smudge on the screen nice. or perhaps smudge. some That's other digital CGI problem. However, moments later, a motorcycle passes by in the same region in which the woman seemed to vanish, yet it's completely visible. And then the same could be said with the truck as it makes its turn, completely visible. It also appears that the driver of the truck may have been reacting to what yeah, the exactly. author just witnessed saying, to be a bro. vanishing woman. It's like, damn, look at that ghost ass. Whether this was just camera trickery or really a wandering apparition is up to the viewer to decide. Who's anybody to say so? This video was captured in Costa Rica on someone's home security camera. At an off hour in the night, out from the woods comes a bizarre, horrifying looking creature. Not in Costa Rica. Shit, what the hell? Oh, that's just like a 20 foot spider. First, one might assume it's just a person doing some kind of crab walk, or if this were Australia, they would just assume it's yeah. another spider. But you don't even have to watch too closely to ask why or how the arms and legs would be the same length if this were yeah, a person. See, that, that stuff, if that it was stuff, just I a person, believe, you get what I'm saying? Because the dogs are involved. You can't tell a dog to go act for you. That's the thing. So I believe that a little bit more because the dogs are barking. But it could also just be dogs barking and CGI added in. Because the dogs seem like they're getting way too close to not, like, get at it. No way a dog would bark that much not to attack the fucking thing. Or the thing would not attack back. That's where it, that's where it kind of, you know, is so-so. Maybe a guy, maybe those were his dogs. And he, and he was like, I'm, an, I'm just going to make a fire-ass video. Send it to Mr. Nightmare. Contorting his or her body. <laughs> The creature wouldn't appear as long as it does and would most likely have a noticeable lump in its back from them contorting their torso. Head, also, based on the dog's reactions, this was not the work of CGI as they were reacting to something that's actually there and caused for a lot. Nightmare, what the hell? If only dogs could talk, they could tell us so much shit. This fourth video was taken from the Japanese YouTube channel Omogatoki Films. Their channel focuses on exploring haunted locations and capturing paranormal it's events on video. Enough. In January of this year, the owners of the channel were contacted by a real estate agent regarding a house he's been having trouble selling due to the fact that the house used to be owned by a family that mysteriously disappeared in 2013. <laughs> All of the previous owners' belongings were left in the house, adding to the mystery. Bro, it looks like a jail cell. The real estate cell. agent refuses to even enter the house. That? He believes there's a dark entity in the house, and he hopes that they would be able to search the house and find any kind of explanation, as this is what they do for a living. Call, the agent mentions you know, to them to make sure to keep all the doors shut like while investigating the house, but doesn't mention why. As the two are exploring this closet, they notice something after reviewing shit. the footage. See if you can find it. If you didn't see it, behind a clothes rack, you can see two bare feet underneath. Hello! This isn't the last time they can be seen. As they search a nearby room, the feet can be seen again, this time much closer and visibly barefoot. Cut your ass. Later on in the night, one of the two decide to place a camera in the dark and sit in one room, waiting for something to happen. After about 15 minutes, he decided to investigate other rooms, while still remembering to shut all the doors behind him. Where's the fucking feet? <sighs> Seen that. Bro, 
as you just saw, there was a face looking in through the door. But as he approaches, it disappears. There's no one outside the, the door. from before look like kids feet too. speculated that the house is haunted by the family that now mysteriously like the disappeared almost a I'm decade assuming, ago. Yeah, bro, I'm assuming so. That seems, that seems like the particular case, alright? This was some alleged sighting ah, of La Llorona. La Llorona is known as a ghost who roams waterfront areas mourning her drowned children. This yeah, video was captured in Leon Guan Bullshit. I don't believe that. I, I watched the story. I watched the movie, The Curse of La. It's actually La Llorona is what he said, but it's La Llorona or something like that because it's it's a uh, Spanish, Mexican, whatever you want to say. But this bitch, the story essentially is that she she and her husband had two kids. They were happily married, blah blah blah, and then she found out that he cheated on her. He he got with another woman and he left her and everything like that. And out of despair and to get revenge on him, she decided to hurt the one thing that meant the most to him, her kids. So she drowned the kids herself. And when he came back, he found out that she did it. And he was like, what the hell? And he left. And then she cried until she died. She, she cried like by the pond or something that she killed him at. She cried herself to her death. And uh, now she she's the curse and walks around there and... She looks for kids to drown or fuck, I don't know, some shit, some curse or something like that. Puerto Mexico. The video is of a man running from what resembles La Llorona. Well, if he's on his own, I'm just, he deserves it. I'm not gonna lie, true shit, scared of the dark. No cap. I would not go for a late night walk on my own. Oh, oh no, this seems, this seems too easily fakeable. Oh, it seems like he's trying a little bit. In the video, if you slow it down and zoom in, the figure in the distance resembles a woman in a white dress crying and yelling. The man was coming home from a party around 3 o'clock in the morning when he encountered the, the woman water, in bro? front of him. As he starts to run in fear, the woman starts shouting at him, not making any sense of what she's saying. He's walking way too straight to not be coming back from days party after the he, sighting, like, he, he ain't the cause drunk, of death so was ruled a heart attack. This video was recorded in November of 2020, and it's just recently getting noticed. That sounds so crystal clear. That's not something that's normal. This was the footage captured by Russian YouTuber Dark you sound Ghost. Like, you sound like real panic. I'm not gonna lie. You just be a really good actor. And this one might be one of the scariest. A woman had written to him about her deceased son, who was obsessed with the paranormal and finding out what happens to the human soul after death. And that's afterlife. why I watch these videos. I one love One day that he shit. told his mother that he discovered a way to contact deceased <laughs> relatives. I would not take he it traveled to the abandoned village where his late grandmother lived. A week later, the mother received a call from the son, saying he was hearing the voices of his grandparents, among other entities. This call was the last that was heard of the son, and his body was found on the streets of the village. The cause of death was ruled to be acute heart failure. The mother asked heart Dark Ghost to visit the grandparents' old house where the son had had a heart visit, and, shit from and all this was some of the footage he captured. Okay, okay, that's a little something. That seems no, more paranormal than anything. Especially if you went there, found a way to contact them, and did some sort of like ritual and shit. If he did it on his own, that's extra stupid. You're not even supposed to do them in general. I enjoy learning about the paranormal and stuff like that. But I would not do this shit. I would not try this shit on my own. I, or I wouldn't try it at all, especially on my own. This dude tried to go there on his own, do this sort of, sort of ritual. Probably just opened a massive portal door to the paranormal side. Where yes, he could definitely talk to his grandparents, but now he's inviting everything. Everything comes. Everything's coming back, and it's all meeting at this particular fucking house. Ever watch The Exorcist? That's what the hell happened. All right, so fuck off. Based on a true story. So I was making all that noise is because all these demons are just running through a goddamn portal and bumping into each other and shit running into the walls. I'm waiting for a jump scare. Various sounds such as footsteps like and knocks can be heard throughout scare. the video. And on multiple That's occasions, doors thing. and cabinets can be seen swinging open or closed on their own. Oh, I see that shadow. That seems to... If you didn't see it, a black I, shadow can be seen floating across the screen. That, that seemed day. a little too CGI for me. 
That seems a little bit too easily fakeable. Someone could have walked there, they could have added that in CGI. Либо что-то хочет, либо кому-то. Next, he enters a creepy red room populated with disturbing pictures that the woman's son would collect and bring to the house. Why is it red? Why? Why do? Why did you do that? You want that type of energy? No. You can't see it. Oh, hello. How's that? His grandfather? What the fuck? This guy don't want to talk to his grandparents. He want to talk to goddamn Satan. No, she's so to go to the photography to give. I'm fascinated by the paranormal and everything. I would never be this excessively interested. What the fuck is wrong with your kid? Are these screenshots from the goddamn purge? What? It's just a shit. Bro, why are you keeping it so dark and you're on your own? Imagine he's on his own and he hears footsteps. He's like, <gasps> and it's getting closer. And then all of a sudden, what's up, Fred? We still doing this ghost hunting shit or what? <laughs> Sounds from that room. Yes, good idea. Leave the room. This shit's trash. Did the grandparents leave it that way, or did this kid do that? This is definitely one of those houses that an explorer should not go to alone. Thank you. Based on the events in this video, there may have been someone or something well, in the Mr. house with him watching him I'm the entire exactly time. Shit he is. Could it be the spirit of the woman's son, or perhaps a much more it's hostile possible. entity, or could it all just be trickery? As usual, that's up for you to decide. Exactly. I, I don't believe the, the first one. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I heard that shit. I didn't believe that one fucking bit. But besides that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, anything else you want me to react to. Leave in the comments down below, like I said, gaming channel. Link for that will be in the description. Y'all should go peep that. Go watch that. I'm streaming on there, making videos, uh, Cold War videos in, in particular, maybe a little bit more Warzone. But yeah, uh, like I said, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the shit. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe. Peace.